If your After Effects project looks like a total mess, no folders, 47 shape layers, comps named Comp23 Copy Copy version 2, unfortunately you're not alone. But it's time to stop. Not for me, for you. In this video I'm going to show you how to stay sane in After Effects by organizing your projects proper. From the project panel to the timeline so you're not crying 3 months later trying to figure out what's what. Whether you're freelancing or working with a the team, these 5 tips will make your life and everyone else's way easier. You probably heard this a thousand times, but organize your files and folders. And if your project panel looks like this, listen up. Here's what I usually do. Create folders for assets, compositions and final renders. Inside assets, split into subfolders, images, videos, audio, etc. Inside compositions, background, scenes, elements. Name the main composition something like render comp so it stands out. Wanna hear the real hack? Set it up once and save it as a default project template. This way every new project you create will have these folders. No need to build them from scratch every time. And once you're done with the project, select your render comp, go to edit, reduce project to remove unused assets and compositions. Then use collect files to pack everything up so you're not hunting down missing assets a year later or worse sending broken files to a client. This doesn't just apply to After Effects either, your file and folder naming on your actual computer matters too. Keep it clean, keep it consistent, your clients, colleagues and future you will be thankful. Here's another classic, name your layers. Seriously, if you open a project 6 months later and see shape layer 47, you're gonna cry. Rectangle 3 is already better. Here are a few more timeline tips. Color label your layers. I used bold colors like orange or yellow to mark my main elements or controllers. You can even select the layers by label color way faster than hunting them down manually. Add markers, and not just for transitions, use them to leave comments, mark voiceover sections, highlight revision points, or flag areas that need review. Pre-compose your scenes. This makes revisions and edits way cleaner. I even like to keep backgrounds separate from scenes. This way I can add effects or transitions without affecting everything else. Use adjustments layer. If you're applying global effects or overlays, use adjustment layer instead of adding them to each individual layer. Keep your layers nicely stacked and not randomly scattered across the timeline. Using square brackets to trim layer in and out points will make this process easier. You can even use guide layers to separate sections in your timeline. Label scenes or leave notes and comments that won't appear in the final render. Oh, did you know you can color your keyframes too? Yeah, just select them, right click and pick a color. Makes them way easier to spot or differentiate. Last one, lock and hide layers you or someone else shouldn't touch. Backgrounds, nulls, overlays, anything that doesn't need editing should be locked down and hidden. As a graphic designer at heart, I can't stand misaligned text, off-center shapes or wobbly lower thirds. You get it, right? If you're working on corporate videos or anything that needs precision, Guides and save zones are your best friends. Hit Command plus R to show rulers, then drag in horizontal and vertical guides. Right click on them to set margins, 100 pixels for example. Make sure Snap to Guides is enabled, so your layers stick to those guides. You can even export your guides as a preset, reuse them in other projects or send them to your team. Besides using guides, use Snap to Object. Just hold command while dragging a layer, these tiny squares will show up, boom! Perfect alignment, two budding boxes or vertices. While we're at it, a warm recommendation, check out the Layout Plugin by Plugin Play. It's amazing for aligning and distributing layers way better than the built-in options. Let's talk scripts and plugins, aka tools that will help you keep your project organized. Besides previously mentioned layout, we have Pro.io by Hyperbrew. You can link system folders directly to project folders, add a file and 
Pro.io imports it automatically, keeping everything in place. You can also create export presets for multiple renders with custom file names, formats, destinations, and even multiple render settings. Then there's Motion Tools Pro, super useful for cleaning up your timeline. Merge multiple shape layers into one, break apart grouped shapes, Crop precomps to fit your layers nicely, even unprecompose if you need to go one step back. And if you're feeling ambitious, you can use ChatGPT to write your own scripts. Here's something I made that helps me keep my project panel organized, especially when working with templates. It duplicates a comp along with its subcomps, renames everything, and sorts it by type or variant. This is still a prototype, but I leave a download link in the description. Pretty cool, right? Last, but definitely not least, templatize repetitive stuff. I'm not talking about downloading generic packs from Envato or Motion Array, though if you're in a rush, that's totally fine. I'm talking about building your own micro library of lower thirds, animated transitions, rigs, or even effects combos you use daily. Stuff you're using over and over again, either for yourself or for a client. You can also save effect presets for your favorite combinations like glows, gradients, and shadows, so you don't need to tweak settings every time. And the best part, you can include expressions in your presets too, and create pre-made dynamic number counters, automatic fade-ins, particles, or whatever else you keep recreating from scratch. Build once, reuse, thank yourself later. Quick recap, organize your files and folders, collect files when the project is done, name and color label your layers, use grids and guides, don't sleep on scripts and plugins, build presets and templates for repetitive stuff. Save this video as a weekly reminder and hey, subscribe for more tips like these so you spend less time digging through garbage layers and more time making cool stuff.